Good morning. Today we are going to be talking about vaccines. Okay, so if you are wanting to buy a puppy or if you got a litter and obviously you will need to take care of them, vaccine them, stuff like that. Well, uh, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Okay, so if you are going to buy or sell a puppy, uh, there are a few things that we need to look at, like uh, deworming, vaccines, papers, etc. Okay. Usually, the uh, you as a buyer, uh, when you come to buy a puppy, you will always have papers. Okay. Uh, why? Because a puppy is sold usually uh, at two months. Okay. Uh, it can be sold at a month and a half. Okay. Uh, but usually, two months is better because from a month and a half the puppy will start uh, eating by himself uh, but usually it will be a bit of a mix huh? uh, it will be food from the mother and what you will uh, give him as well okay so usually two months better uh, usually the, the the puppy will be independent and they will there won't be any problems so uh, at that time when you will go and buy the puppy you should have papers okay papers like this okay so this one is from spain okay because uh, obviously i reside here and uh, that that will be the first uh, papers for uh, for the dog um, so what they will do uh, the you will need to bring the dog to be dewormed at one month okay so once it's a month old you go to the vet the vet will then fill up this okay so here um, it will it'll, it'll, it'll give you the the breed the date of birth etc if it's a male or female and obviously the the stamp from the vet and then here comes the deworming okay and uh here same thing with the date etc okay so that will be the first uh, step at a month old then um, comes the the first vaccine first vaccine it's at a month and a half okay so as we see here, okay, here's the first vaccine. So same thing, uh, you will have the label of the vaccine, the date is been placed, and obviously the the stamp from the vet. Just like the just like the dentist, uh, they will place the next uh, when the next vaccine will be due. So you don't have to worry about when to uh, to give the second one, the third one, etc. Okay, uh, you will have all this here. So that's why when I say when you going to buy a puppy, uh, you will always have papers, obviously, because um, if um, an owner uh, take good care of his puppies, you will have that. OK. So um, now the deworming as well. Usually they are when, when it's a puppy, usually you've got uh, you do it twice. OK. But that the, the, the vet will tell you as well. OK. Now. Um, I've got some people that have asked me uh, things that are a bit weird and um, I'd like to clarify this um, maybe for people to know a bit better. Okay, so um, someone uh, asked me if uh, the, the puppy comes with a guarantee. So uh, I, I must say I've I got a bit, I was a bit shocked when I heard that and I thought and I couldn't help myself then to answer, oh, I'm very sorry, but you are not buying a fridge or a car or, <laughs> you know, uh, that would come with to your guarantee. Um, an animal, uh, we know more or less when will be the, uh, the date of birth, but the date when the dog will actually pass away, we never know. Uh, no one has the... Uh, power to for this you know so when we have to go we'll go so uh, I had some puppies that died just a few days after uh, some that went uh, you know after a year four years and I've got some that lasted you know 14 years so we we just never know okay um, and whatever we doesn't matter a uh, 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 great we will uh, take care of the of the dog um, if his time is up his time is up 
okay so please don't ask for guarantee because that's um, that sounds a bit stupid sorry to say that but it does um, but however when you go and, and buy a puppy uh, there are a few things that you can look at uh, that will give you um, a good indication of the state of the dog okay i will show it to you now uh, i'll cut the video because i need to go in and fetch that little one okay, i'm now back with a little one okay and so obviously if you are going to uh, see a puppy okay a good way to look is the uh, general uh, state of the dog okay here we can see it's nice and plumb okay uh, we can't see the ribs it's it is beautiful okay so there's absolutely no problem here so that's a very good sign uh, the other very good sign is the nose uh, if we touch it it should be slightly wet always okay uh, a dog in good health always will have a, a, a nose that's a bit wet if it's dry well there's nothing to be worried about as well but it could be that the dog has fever it could be something that's um, uh, yet something that doesn't agree with him etc and usually in that case you will see the dog uh, going in and eating some grass okay so nothing to worry too much about it okay but now something that's very interesting is if we take the dog by the neck and we we just grab the skin and we pull it and let it go you see how, how fast it comes down okay so that's a very good sign that's a sign of very good health okay if uh, you do that with the dog and the skin falls slowly very slowly uh, it's a sign that the dog is dehydrated in that case i will take the dog and i will go immediately to the vet okay uh, highly likely the vet will place it on the drips um, and that's yeah that, that could be worrying okay but if you check all this about the dog and you see that everything is fine then just go ahead okay um, you will have a, a beautiful uh, dog that will give you years of um, of joy okay so here we go i think we've um, we've done the tour more or less huh, of what you should have etc um, now uh, oh as well there's someone that asked me if the puppy comes with all the vaccines um, so as well it's a question that uh, left me a little bit uh, thinking okay uh, obviously not okay you um, a, an owner cannot give all the vaccine to the dog if not what will happen he will we will kill him okay and anyway the, the vet will just refuse it okay uh, just imagine for instance you got a newborn baby and um, you go to a doctor and the doctor will say oh okay mm, let's pinch him with all the vaccine up to 12 years old okay now uh, what will happen you will actually won't care of your newborn you will actually kill him okay um, because the body won't take it so don't ask stuff like that okay um, the, the the way it goes is that when you've got that card okay you um, you will get you know the, obviously from the time of the vaccine then the the body needs the the time to uh, assimilate and then you've got the next date for the next vaccine uh, then a bit of time as well for the body to uh, accept it and then comes the third vaccine okay so don't um, uh, don't, don't worry about this okay when you when you buy the puppy as well um, if for instance someone has to get the dog now uh, obviously the next vaccine will be at his cost okay because he will be the new owner um, so that's just the way it is so some people ask for everything uh, but it doesn't doesn't work like that okay it's a bit like if you buy a car um, well next time you need to be serviced it's at your cost obviously yeah? <laughs> uh, here we go now regarding the microchip this usually is done after the third vaccine okay as a puppy there are three vaccines and on the fourth one that is when the vet uh, will actually place the microchip on his neck 
and then take all your details and usually within two weeks you will receive directly at your house uh, the passport and the card okay it comes with a card so like that if the dog were to be uh, lost uh, so then they will scan him and um, they will find him for you okay so that that's quite uh, useful and obviously if you need to go abroad uh, that's uh, that's always a must okay because without this you can't you can't go abroad well i think that's it um i hope that you have liked the video and uh, we'll see each other in the next one okay allez ciao